Hey everybody, happy Friday. I can't believe we're already here. Boy, this week flew by for sure. Uh, let's see if you guys are gonna jump on. Let me see if I'm in the right place. Every time I hit go live, I have like a moment of panic. Am I in the right place? <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm not seeing anybody. Oh yeah, looks like I'm on. Not sure what's happening. All right, hello. All right, now I can see you guys. Hello, hello, welcome. It's good to see you guys. Today, we're gonna do the hot dog stamp set. I realized um, while I was playing with this stamp set that this is my favorite kind of stamp set. It's black line, the images are just simple black line images that you can color easily. I love to color with the blends. Um, and it has really cute kind of puns for the sayings and really cute font. So I decided, you know, I've been thinking about my stamp set. Um, and that's, if I had to boil it down, those would be the things that I like. Anyhow, this one's cute. Love it. It's the little dogs, of course. The little dogs are always so popular. Um, <clears throat> he's a dachshund, but I'll call him a weenie dog. Um, anyhow, that's what we're going to do today. I have just a couple of things to show you guys today. Um, let's see where to start. I think I'll start with Club Create. You know what, where's my PDF? Um, the PDF, hello everybody saying hello. It's good to see you guys. Hello, Denise, you were just here, hello. Um, if you haven't gotten my PDF before, it's at pinkbuggeroo.com. Speak, speaking of Pink Buggeroo, this is kind of random. I've been locked out of my email today. I finally got back on just right before we went live. Um, you know when your credit card gets compromised and then you forget all the things that are connected to your credit card until they're like declined and they can't, you know, charge your card. Well, my yearly payment for my domain, Pink Buckaroo, which is my email, apparently was due this month and the card that got compromised a couple months ago was attached and they sent the email letting me know to that email address, which they had already turned it off. So anyways, if you emailed me, I'm slowly working through it. Sorry, um, you know, a little panic when you can't log in. Um, but then I realized that's probably what it is. So it all is good, but I just have a lot of emails to catch up on. I didn't even check my emails this morning. I jumped right in to film videos and then I started working on my class back here and then I sat down to do emails and I was like, uh-oh. Anyhow, if you want to jump over to pinkbuckaroo.com, it is working, hopefully the post is up. You'll find this PDF under the uh, fourth picture this week and it has all the measurements and um, product information as well as these things I'm gonna tell you. So right now, let's talk about Club Create this month no no not this month april april's club create is going to feature this stamp set called friends are like seashells and i can tell you that it's in the new catalog it's carrying over so um it's a really good investment it's a beautiful stamp set and the dies are really cool too there's also a fantastic embossing folder that goes with it that has been on back order and unorderable forever um i don't know if it's back or if it's getting ready to come back online, but it is gorgeous, and we're gonna use that too. If you are interested in these projects that we're gonna make next month during Club Create, you can subscribe now until April 7th. April 7th is the cutoff day. Let's see, where's the fourth one? Right here. We're gonna make four cards and a 3D project, always. A 3D's gotta be in there always. Um, the subscription is $39 a month, it includes about $20 in product, consumable products. It does not include the bundle. Um, but I always give my Club Create members the opportunity to add the bundle and the embossing folder this month to their kit. Um, and I pay the shipping and tax on that if they add it on. So uh, you can find that link right here on today's PDF. Um, let's see, it's also at the very top of my blog where it says, have, there's little tabs, there's a Club Create tab. And... Uh, you can click on that and find that subscribe link. So it's $39 a month. You can join for one month and then cancel. You can join and stay for however long you want. But if you stay for six months, you get $25 in product um, of your choice on your six month as a thank you from me. All right, so that's Club Create. You 
you know, while I was, I have those little wooden trays that I put my, my projects on and right before I went live, I went to move them and now I have a splinter in my finger. <laughs> I'm going to have to like pretend that it's not happening. Okay. I'm going to turn you guys around because the other things I just want to show you, I think I'll be able to show you a little bit better if I turn you around. So close your eyes, flip you around. I can't stand this, um... You know, when I look at my phone, all I see is so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching, the same person over and over and over again. You know, this has been like a weird glitch for several weeks now. I think maybe this is the third or fourth week. I can't see any comments. Um, my iPad's doing it a little bit, but not quite as much. Um, okay, let's talk about this first. This is this month's Paper Pumpkin. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Glad you're here. Um, this is this one's Paper Pumpkin. It's too late to subscribe, but I have, currently I have two extras. Um, I have already sold all of the other extras. Um, so this one is here. If you need one, you didn't order it, um, I have two. So the first two people to email me. This month's is really neat. We've got this stamp set. Let's see. May your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. This is a really cool um, theme. It's You've got these masks, which is like a technique. So you've got a, the masks and a sponge. Um, but it's kind of like hiking, camping themed. I haven't even opened it yet. Well, let me get it out of here. Um, it looks like eight cards. Is that right? And then you're going to use those masks. And then you get, you. not only do you have the stamp set and the spot left over, you've got the mask. They're cute. They're little. I love our masks. I've been using them quite a bit lately. So anyhow, it's uh, these are if you buy it from me, it's twenty five dollars, and that includes shipping. Um, and anyhow, that's that. But I wanted to also touch on. I thought they would have a little sign, a little picture in here, but they didn't. Next month's um, paper pumpkin kit. Here's the picture of it. So cool. It is adorable. Um, it's going to feature little cards that are shaped like popsicles I think you know they give us little sneak peeks and I think that's what I've gathered it's a good kit for kids they said um, it's not necessarily f only for kids but it if you have kids who like to craft or a kid who you've been wanting to introduce crafting to they're saying that the April paper pumpkin is perfect for that. So you have until April 10th to uh, subscribe to that I will put the link well, there's a link right there on the PDF, but I'll put the link on YouTube, nope, on Facebook as well. All righty. Now, let's talk about the retired list. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to bring my iPad over so we can talk about the retired list. Um, if you go to stampinup.com, the store, let's see, is that where I'm at? It feels like maybe I'm not. Let's see. If you go to stampinup.com, this is going to pop up. There's actually three things here, but the very first one, you click on that. And that's going to show you all the products that are retiring from this annual catalog. Now, they're calling it last chance list. I call it retiring. I mean, it's the same thing. Um, lots of these things are on sale. Not all of them are on sale, but a lot of them are. Um, also, where's my other catalog? The retired list this time does not include this catalog. This catalog, the spring mini, goes until, I always forget, what is it? Jan nope, it goes from January 5th to June 30th, all the way to the end of June. So we'll get a retired list from this catalog in June. So we're not going to worry about that one right now. We're going to worry about this big one. So we have a new big annual catalog coming out in May. I always have to think because we've changed the timeline and so I have to remember. Anyhow, if you go to stampinup.com and you click on that banner, you can scroll through and see everything that is retiring. Lots of fun stuff that I just am really surprised about. Some things like this right here, this, the Sunflower Bundle, well, that one's in French, but the Sunflower Bundle is retiring. So maybe the, the bundle price where you save 10% is retiring, but not necessarily um, the 
stamps and dies. They you only get the bundle pricing the first year it's in the catalog. Um, so Mountain Air, that is in the new catalog, just not at bundle price. So the bundles, if you want to take um, advantage of that 10% savings, you need to do that pampered pets. See, I can't remember. I marked my catalog. What I do is I use that PDF and I go through, is this the one I marked? Yep. And I write, I mark with a, a red R on all the things that are retiring. And um, it kind of visually helps me figure out what's going. And even though I've done that, I still can't remember what's retiring. <laughs> so yes, let's have a moment of silence for the Buffalo check background stamp. You know, I really, I had a feeling, I pretty much was prepared for it to retire. Um, but um, I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get rid of it because I absolutely love it. And if you haven't gotten it yet, you should definitely get it. Um, Buffalo check's always popular. Um, also, the, the other thing, this one I'm really surprised about, the wreath. Right, you guys, the it's not just the bundle. I marked it in here. It's the the dies and the stamp are retiring. See, it is it it's, even after this catalog is gone, I still have I still forget what is retired and what hasn't. Um but I I was really surprised by that. Well, I don't know where it is. Um, the other thing everybody's freaking out about, and I don't like that I can't see you guys, so I'm going to pull this back up. The other thing that I was really surprised about was the, um, stitched dies back here. I haven't gotten to, I haven't even gotten back here yet. Um, the stitched shape dies, which from what I'm hearing, everybody is freaking out about. Um, if I feel like I use a st stitched shape die, either the stitch circles, stitch rectangles, or stitch ovals, pretty much on every project it feels like. Also, another staple that they um, have gotten rid of are the layering ovals and the layering squares. That is crazy. I can't believe it. We've never not had scallop squares. <laughs> So I don't know. It's crazy. Now I will tell you, I have looked through the new catalog. There are some awesome dies coming. There are some awesome shapes that can replace a stitch circle. I'm not saying there is a stitch circle die, but there are other dies that you could use in place. Like these right here, the hippo and friends dies are carrying over. These three shapes are fantastic to use in place of your stitch circle, um, your layering oval. Um, so Never fear, those of you that are demonstrators, I know we're kind of in a little panic. All the circle punches are gone. <laughs> um, but you know what? Every year we all panic and freak out about something that's leaving. Um, and and then we forget about it. <laughs> we get that new catalog and we move on. But that doesn't mean that those of you who aren't doing this as a business like me, you want to make sure you go through here and see the things that are retiring. How are the zebras retiring? They're so cute. I, I can't believe it. Um, the zebras, that was my first, I looked back, it was the first Facebook Friday project I did after I got my first order from this catalog. It was my favorite stamp set. The dinosaurs are cute. Would you guys like to do a Facebook Friday with Dino Days? What do you think? It's so fun. And I haven't used the stamp set since I did a class, which I think was like summer of 2019. Would you guys like to do that? I would love for you to tell me which, now, hold on, squirrel moment. What is, what is sold out? Somebody already told me the paper, right? I think the paper is already gone, the whale paper. Crazy. I would love for you guys to tell me which retiring sets you would like to see me do. I see some of you saying yes to the dinosaurs. Hey, Belinda. Um, Dino days, yeah, okay, it's so cute. Um, this set was really cute too, I was surprised. I like this um, set with the dies. I'm actually using a die from that set today. And I am mourning for my friend Rhonda, her million dollar set, I have no idea why that's retiring. It is so popular. Um, if you haven't gotten ridiculously awesome, you need to get it. She, that's her million dollar stamp set. And she worked with Sarah Douglas's husband. Sarah Douglas is our CEO 
and it, her husband's like a graphic designer, some kind, some kind of artist, and she worked with him, and he designed that stamp set for her. So, I don't know. I just, I'm really, really surprised. That one's leaving, which I love, the farmhouse look. Um, so, anyhow, I posted the PDF, and I believe I posted the Excel yesterday, or day before yesterday, um, on this Facebook group. So you can print it out and go page by page. That's what I did. If you go on the Excel sheet, you can delete some of those columns and make it make the font bigger because I know that the PDF's pretty darn small. Um, so you can, what is that? I think I have a recipe mixed up in here. Yep. <laughs> Strawberry lemonade cake recipe. My daughter's birthday this weekend. Um, anyhow, make sure you check it out. Um, and let me know what, um, what, I'm reading your comments, what stamps, it, you know, Ashley, I think I did a range of wreath already for Facebook Friday. Go back and look, search my blog. I'm pretty sure I did a Facebook Friday for that, I think. Um, but anyway, if I've already done a Facebook Friday, I probably won't do it again just because I don't know if I could come up with three more over the top ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the well is dry on that one. Um, I don't know. I could just sit here and just chat. I hate that we had my team. We, you know, usually at our team meeting um, here locally, we would sit and we'd talk about everything that's retiring. We don't get to do that this year, which is sad. <laughs> but, um, you know, we could sit and talk about these forever. But, okay. Anyway, I just want to let you guys make sure you know retired list goes through. Nothing is guaranteed except stamp sets, and stamp sets are guaranteed through, someone correct me, April 19th, they weren't real clear on the website, towards the end of April, stamp sets, will because they make those in-house, but everything else on that list, dies, paper, punches, embellishments, um, some of the stamp and blends that are leaving, those are not guaranteed, so as soon as they sell out, they're not ordering anymore, so make sure you've looked through there and you've gotten the things that you need. All right, Carla, I'm glad you're here. Carla, if you guys remember, sent me an amazing gift of all these cute flowering cactus um, projects when I hit my million, and I told her that I was gonna case her, and I did. Um, this is my class for April. My class to go is gonna be the flowering cactus class. Coincidentally, the all-star tutorial bundle next month is also the flowering cactus. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's what's happening. Anyway, um, so this box, Carla sent me this box, and um, I pretty much almost copied it pretty much all the way because her stuff is cute. Um, so this class, I will put out the details on this class probably on Tuesday. I just finished the PDF. I need to send it over to Lisa so she can proofread it for me. Um, four cards, a box, and a mini album. Look, I haven't done a mini album in a while. A cute little mini album. Mini albums are fun because you can just put, print out your pictures, you know, from your phone and glue them on. You can do both sides. You can do here, you can do journaling, do all kinds of cute stuff and then give it to, you know who really likes mini albums are moms and grandmas. You know, sometimes you don't know what to get them. And dads too. I know my dad loves when I give him photo albums. So this would make a fun little um, gift. I didn't put any kind of title on it. So you can add a title for whatever you decide. I thought my spring break pictures would look really cute in here. So anyway, this class is coming um, next week. So this will be April. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this class because it is a, a uh, product medley. I'm still kind of wrestling that around in my mind. Anyway, stay tuned for that, uh, uh, pricing wise and how I'm gonna do with the ordering and stuff. All right, so I think that's all the announcements. Let's do some door prizes. Last week, I have two winners. I was giving away Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. Um, and I keep getting distracted by comments. For some reason today, I cannot do both. I cannot talk and read comments at the same time. Um, Terry Kendall and Michelle Montemuro, you are the winners of Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. Thank you so much for sharing my video on Facebook. I really do appreciate it. Um, it is helpful for my business and I am grateful. So thank you. Ladies, I don't think I have either of your mailing addresses. So please email or message me so I can mail these out to you, okay? All right, next up. 
prizes this week. How about this cute little, I thought about doing this one for a Facebook Friday, but really, I'm not sure. I don't know, it's a cute one. It's, let's see, it's your day to relax. You're cut above the rest. You make the world look better and the grass look greener. You're always there for me to a wonderful man. Happy Father's Day. So it's a masculine set. Really cute. Again, a great one for coloring with Stampin' Blends. So I'll give two of these away to two people who share next week. So um, if you would like to win, please share. And you can write in the comments, share, so I know. Um, because sometimes I don't see when I click on the shares. Okay, so we are there. I didn't have very much to talk about today. Um, kind of, I feel like I'm kind of in between things. I didn't tell you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, but I feel like you guys know about that. Um, spend $50 online and you get a PDF with 12 video tutorials in it. Um, this month's tutorial bundle features the hydrangea. You know, I have it right here and this is the last time that I'm going to show you, so I better show you. Because next next week we'll have a new one. We'll have the flowering cactus. Let me get it. Here it is. This is my project this month. Um, and here are all the, I print them out every month so you can see it, but it's, it comes to you in a PDF form. Um, and I need to send out for everybody who's ordered this week, so I'm going to put this over on my computer. Um, you can also buy that in my PDF store if you're interested. Okay, if you guys have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, this is how it goes. I pick a product this week. We're doing the hot dog. This stamp set's only $17. When I typed this up last night, I was excited about that. That's one of our lower priced stamp sets. And there are a lot of stamps, 25 in there. Um, so I'm gonna make three projects using the hot dog. This came from a special request. Somebody emailed me and I cannot remember who it was. Um, if it was you, tell me. I it, Hopefully she's here uh, because I had so much fun with this stamp set. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make three projects. If you like these projects and you would like me to send you the make and takes for free, I will be happy to do that. Um, all you have to do is put in a $35 minimum order um, by Monday at midnight. And then on Tuesday morning, I get up and I cut them and get them in the mail by Wednesday. And you'll need the stamps, ink, and um, stamps, ink, and adhesive. That's all you need. Um, because this is what they look like when they come. And I include everything that you'll need. There's a lot of die cutting this week. <laughs> I include the die cut that you need, and that's a little thank you tag from me. I don't send you any stamped images. You have to have a stamp set. All right, let's get started. Let me get a drink. I'm suddenly very, very thirsty. Okay, let's get started. I really wish that Facebook would fix this glitch. Hey, Denise, I'm glad you asked that. She says, new customer, do you have a re rewards program for large purchases or multiple orders? Well, I, yes, I do. I'm glad because I always forget to talk about this. This is the Stampers Roundup. This is always in, I always send them in my Facebook Friday packages, but these are applicable to any online order or class purchase that is over $50. Um, and for every $50, you can mark off a box. And when you get 10 of them, um, you can pick out $30 of product and I will mail it to you or I will order it for you and stamp it up will mail it. So if you don't have one of these, you don't actually have to physically have one. Up at the top of my blog, pinkbuggery.com, there's a tab that says Stampers Roundup. And you can click on that and it's there and it explains the program, all the rules and stuff. And um, you can print it out or you can just keep a list of your purchases. And then when you get to 10 purchases, um, then, or 10, you know, basically it's whatever, 10 times 50, $500 in orders, then you can email me the dates and the amounts of each order and I will order you whatever you want. So I'm glad you asked because I always forget to talk about it. I have a lot of people who take advantage of that too. It's, um, it's fun. You know, when I, my girls were little, I loved to shop at Gymboree and they had a rewards program that I lived and died by. They're Gym Bucks. Who remembers Gym Bucks? Oh my gosh, I love them. So I know a rewards program is fun. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> this first card, 
I'm almost nervous to show you guys because it's kind of silly. It's kind of weird. Um, Maria, you did not get one what? Card, the punch card. They're always in Facebook Friday packages or you can print one off right there from my blog. This card is the first thing I thought of when I saw the stamp set and I started planning. And so this is what I did. He says, I love you. And then you open it. <laughs> He's really long and it says that's the long and short of it. I think I'm not, I don't know. I'm a little on the fence about this. You know who would love this card as a kid? A kid would think that that's hilarious. Now me as a stamper, I'm kind of like, all I can see is that I drew that line there and I'm unsure about it, but I think it's funny and I think it's cute enough that it doesn't matter. All right. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, and um, I'm reading y'all's comments, Jimboree. You know what, Jimboree went out of business, but they've come back and I think they're online only. Um, I get emails from them. I finally unsubscribed because I don't think my teenagers would appreciate Jimboree. <laughs> but yes, I love Jimboree. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, let's make our card base. And of course I pulled out the um, design series paper, the Playful Pets. This paper is not carrying over, it's retiring. So if you like this paper, it's the cutest. Make sure you get it. This is half a sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it um, two and an eighth on each side, okay? So it folds in like that. We're gonna do the front side first. By the way, I have clean recordings of all of these projects. That means it's an individual recording over on YouTube that should go live as soon as my blog post goes live today, which should already be up. That way, if you come back to make these projects later, you don't have to, you know, try to figure out while I'm chit-chatting with people and all that. It's a clean, straightforward recording that has all the information for you. Um, it's also linked under today's, at, on today's blog post under each photo, a little description and a link to that direct um, direct link to that video is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now, this is not the Playful Pets Designer Series paper, and I think I left it off the list. I did. This is the snailed paper, snailed it, snail mail, and it's one inch by four and a fourth. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this kind of low because he's going to be standing on this. Yes, I'm gluing it closed. Okay, you'll see why in just a second. Yes, I know. Is that straight? That feels like it's a little crooked. Oh, well, it's stuck. We're doing it. Okay, so now I've got, I've got a crooked, I've got a crooked scallop, but I think it'll be okay because we're going to cut off that end. Yep. This, you guys, whoops, if you have been around, you know that I love me some stitched scallop border dye. It's from the Stitched Be Mine Heart Dies. And guess what? Retiring. But there are two different scallop border dies coming up in the new catalog, so I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm gonna, I put that there and I'm just gonna leave it to dry and then we're just gonna snip that in a minute. That way it's exactly where it needs to be, okay? So that's why I did that. I know some of you are like, what are you doing? You just glued your card closed. Don't worry, I got it, I got it. Um, oh, hi, Karen, you made one for your dad for Valentine's Day. Yeah, the little dog, um, he could, I mean, you could do a variety of things with this guy. Well, there's actually three of them with these guys. All right, I'm going to stamp him in memento black um, on a stitched rectangle, basic white. Then over here, what we're going to do is I'm going to stamp him here color just the front half and cut that out and glue that on there. And then I'm going to stamp just the back half over here and we're going to connect those lines. So I've got a scrap piece of paper, scrap basic white, and I'm stamping it right there. Now we also have the little envelope and I'm just going to put a couple like this and then I'm going to do one over here because we're gonna cut that one out as well. Now there's this other stamp, and I'm embarrassed to show you guys that this stamp because my block is disgusting. <laughs> I was pulling my blocks out last night and I was like, oh, we need to have a block bath. Have you guys ever washed your blocks? 
I don't do it nearly enough. And I am sure some of you are always like, gross, look at her blocks. I don't take the time. Anyhow, you just fill your sink up with, you know, like you're going to wash dishes and just put your blocks in there and wash them. Dawn is like perfect for them. Do you guys put your blocks in your dishwasher? I feel like I've heard people say that. Probably turn the heat off when you do that, but I bet that would work too. Okay, so anyway, this little stamp is like a movement stamp. And I think I did it upside down, but it still works. Look, it looks like he's wagging his tail. You know what? Let's try that again. Let me see. Which way did I do it? I don't know. It's exactly the same, isn't it? I, I mean, we don't need it over here, but I'm going to look. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if there's a right way or wrong way. Anyhow, it just makes him look like he's wagging his tail. Um, the other thing we are going to do, this sentiment, this funny little sentiment, is on one stamp. I love you. That's the long and short of it. And we're going to stamp the I love you on the front and the long and short of it on the inside. So I'm going to get a post-it note. You can also cut your stamps apart if... Sometimes I feel like I do kind of a junky job when I do this. If you feel like that, just cut your stamp apart. I know some of you are gasping, but I'm telling you, if you want to put it back together, it's like a puzzle piece and you just put it back together on your block and it's fine. But you can also just use a post-it note like I did. I love you. And then we'll do the bottom part inside the card. Okay, what color did I use? Soft suede. Soft suede. Thanks for the share. I appreciate it. Um, Becky with heat or without heat? Becky says she's put hers in the dishwasher. You know, it's funny because this is soft suede. Ooh, we don't like dark. I am a perfectionist for a lot of things. But when it comes to, like, cleaning, I wish I was. Belinda, is Belinda on here? My friend Belinda is so good. Her house is spotless all the time. She's very good at cleaning. Um, but I just, I have too many things I want to do to take time to clean. So my blocks are disgusting. I usually only clean them, um, before a big event, if I'm having like a retreat or something. And I don't even notice the gunk on them. <laughs> I know it's bad. All right. Soft suede light. I'm going to go around and outline. Well, not really outline. In line, what would you call that? I'm gonna go around the inside of the, the line and I'm gonna color most of him in in a minute with my brush tip, but I'm using that bullet tip to just get in the small areas. And then I can take, whoa, almost got out of, the, out of the line. Then I can take the brush. See, when I use my brush end, I don't know, I always seem to get out of the lines. I'm much, much better with the dark, the bullet tip. Okay, so now the dark, and I saw my mom is on here, and mom, you're probably gonna tell me I'm shading in the wrong areas, but that's okay. I'm gonna go around the back and down underneath him like this. I'm thinking if the sun is coming down on him like that, this part would be dark. Under his ear would be dark. This would probably not be dark, or would it be dark? I don't know. I'll put a little bit of dark there. You don't have to do this part. You can skip the shading if you're intimidated by it. Or you can just mess around with it and see. So I'm gonna blend all that up. You know, my dog, speaking of dogs, they've been very quiet today. I'm not sure Pepper drove me insane yesterday. She was like all over me all day. But today she and I walked three miles this morning. So I guess she's tired. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to do this guy in a minute, but let's do this. Um, real red for the heart. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cleaning. I pay a lady to clean my house every two weeks and it is the best money that I spend all month. You know, it really is because it frees me up. I don't feel stressed about it. I do feel stressed the night before she's coming. You guys, I know some of you have cleaning ladies. The night before she's coming, I'm like yelling at my kids, clean up your room, pick up your stuff, you know, because, you know, you have to pick up before they come. And I, um, I'm always like, God, she's coming. And she's like, oh, the Sirwin's house again. <laughs> 
because my kids are, well, I guess all kids. And yes, my mother, I can hear you, mom. You were a disgusting slob when you were a kid too. I know, but I guess maybe there are some kids that are clean. My middle child has gotten better. She's pretty, I don't know, she's pretty, I don't want to say OCD, but she is a little bit, a little, she likes clean and organized. But yeah, best money ever. If you ever, if you know, like if you have a friend that has a baby that has a baby or has surgery and you want to, you know, send them something, send them a cleaning lady. Pay somebody to clean their house. My mom did that. I don't know if you remember that, mom. Um when I was pregnant with my first um child, I was real sick. Um I had that, you know, where you throw up like 20 times a day. And my house was disgusting. I couldn't get off the couch. And she she didn't pay somebody, her friend. She sent her friend over and she, well, maybe she paid her, I don't know. Um, and she cleaned my house and it made a huge difference. All right, I'm going to take the light crumb cake and I'm just going to put a little shadow line under him. All right. Now, fussy cutting. I don't know if Donna's here today, um, but <laughs> I think of Donna every time I fussy cut. If you don't want to fussy cut... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on this one. Maybe just leave the inside blank. But I'm going to fussy cut him with my scissors. And mom, I just saw your comment um, today on last week's video. She had ordered the paper snips in her starter kit. And they were on back order forever. And they finally showed up. I always um, joke and say they make the best haircut scissors too. Now some of you are like, what's wrong with her dog? Why is it half brown, half white? Because remember, we only need the front half, okay? I promise it'll make sense in a second. I'm not even going to worry about this over here, okay? Um, we need, we do need to cut that little <laughs> Peggy. I do the pickup routine before my ladies come too. It's the best thing ever. Um, yeah, you know, and then sometimes like I'll, I'll clean out my closet like once a year. <laughs> and then I'm always like, she's going to be so proud of me when she comes to clean my house. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, I wish I know some of you, maybe not any of you on here, but some of you like to clean. I have a neighbor. She says she spends her Friday nights cleaning her house. It's her favorite thing. She can't wait. <laughs> I'm like, come to my house. I got lots of things for you to clean. Okay, so we cut out this teeny tiny little little envelope. I put a mini, um, mini dimensional, and I'm going to put it there so like he's holding it, okay? Okay, so now let's go back to the card. And I'm going to trim this off right here like that. And then I'm going to just take my scissors. They really are the best scissors. And I'm going to snip up like that, okay? So... This card, I wanted this side to stay because if he's going to be like that, you don't really want to open that unless you could, and then you could make him really long and stamp him again right here. But I didn't do that. So I just glued this down. But I was thinking too, this could be a gift card holder if you did your adhesive kind of like, you know, like this, where you, nope, nope, not there. Where, you know, where you left a little spot there so you could slide a gift card in. But this card says, I miss you. So I don't really think you would use a gift card in this card unless you change the sentiment and then you could. But anyhow, when you glue this side down, if you want to put a gift card in there, just leave all of that without adhesive. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to continue on this paper, another one inch um, strip right here okay and then a little um <laughs> denise you know sometimes i worry she says your kids ask you why they have to clean if the cleaning lady's coming i often worry that i have done a disservice to my kids because they we have a cleaning lady that comes you know I cleaned my room when I was a kid, and I think it's important that they know how to clean their rooms. So I worry that they know, you know, what it's like to have a cleaning lady. They they do complain. They don't ever ask why, but they complain about it for sure. 
And they have cleaned on occasion and they go to my mom's and they help her clean sometimes. She'll pay them to clean. So I just don't want them to ever like, you know, like when they leave for college, they need to know how to clean. <laughs> they want to have a cleaning lady in college. Okay, so now we've got this weird dog here and I'm just gonna cut him about right there, okay? We don't need that. We're gonna take him and put him here. I'm gonna put his feet, oops, nope. I wanna put him right here on the edge, okay? Where that edge is and put his feet right here. So now I'm gonna bring this stamp back over and let me clean it really good. Joanne, good. You make your grandson clean his room in my house. See, my, my mom, I always tell her she doesn't want to, you know, like make them do stuff like that. And I'm like, mom, if they're making a mess, you tell them to clean it up. I think it's important. I mean, they, they don't think it's important now, but they will later. Okay, so I'm just going to ink the back end. All right, so just like the half. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to stamp it so that his back feet, you guys see that? His back feet are the same as his front feet. Now, all we have to do is get our black, our basic black stamp and write marker. You can buy these individually. They're $3. They're fantastic. And I, now, look guys, I do not, I can't draw a straight line. I'm not an artist. But we can, we can do this, right? I mean, it's cute and it's fun. So don't overthink it. Don't worry about your line. Just kind of go across and connect it, okay? And then this one, I kind of want his belly to go down like he has a big belly. And back up. <laughs> I know, it's a little weird, but I like it. What do you guys think? Is it weird? Is it too weird? I was thinking for sure, like if you send your grandchildren cards, I know a lot of you send your grandchildren cards, this would be a fun one for a kid. I think it's funny with their long belly. We do not have a dachshund in our family, but we do have a corgi. So it's kind of the same concept, long body. We need a corgi stamp, right mom? Need a corgi stamp. If you guys have never been around a corgi, oh my gosh. I'll never forget when I told my friend whose husband is a vet that we were getting a corgi. Her eyes got real big. Not us. We were getting, my mom was getting a corgi. Her eyes got real big. <laughs> and she was like, oh. And I thought, well, what's that about? Now I know. They're crazy. They're wild. They're crazy. But they're cute and funny and hilarious. But aren't most puppies wild and crazy? I think so. All right, so we've got this weird, super dog, long hot dog dog. And he's funny and silly. All right. I'm almost scared to look at your comments. <laughs> I know you guys are sweet. You're not gonna say anything ugly. I think it's funny. All right, what are you guys saying? Funny, right, cute? Oh, okay. Hey, Lisa, good to see you. <laughs> Jean, thank you. She says it's so adorable. You know, sometimes you get an idea in your head, and then you do it, and you're like, mm, that's not really how it looked in my head, but I was really trying to think of a, whoops, ribbon is flying. I was really trying to think of um, a slider, you know, like if you could slide them out. But I, I don't know, I couldn't come up with it. So this is this was my <laughs> this was my um solution. Okay, so now remember this um we gotta put the funny sentiment in here for this to make sense. I love you, and that's the long and short of it. So now I'm gonna put this um covering up the top words and we'll ink the bottom words. Don't forget to take off the post-it note. I can't tell you guys how many times in the beginning I put, put it down and stamped it like that. It will get ink on your project and you'll be mad, especially after all this work. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it. You know, I really like photopolymer too because you can look at it and see, did I get ink anywhere it's not supposed to be? 
hopefully it's still wet. There we go. And we're gonna do a couple of hearts. It's got a great little heart stamp in this set. Oops, I just put my finger into the ink pad. One more, we'll do one more over here. Okay, so that's the inside. Now, for the outside, all we're gonna do is put this here like this, and it's gonna open up. But look right here, that bugged me. I didn't like seeing that, you know, uh, your blends will bleed through. So just get another piece of white, or you can cut a rectangle, and just put on the back like that. And then you can't see it, okay? Um, let's see where are my dimensionals. Thanks guys, I'm so glad you like it. I was a little bit concerned that it was just too weird and silly. All right, and then we'll put him right there. And that's it. And there he is. No bow. I didn't I didn't use any ribbon or twine. So cute. Okay. Project number one is done. I'm glad you guys liked it. You just never know. All right, let me switch everything over. Let's see, I don't need that. The next card, uh, would you consider this a fancy fold? I think any card that doesn't open like a normal card is a fancy fold. Do you guys, is that what you guys think? Anyhow, I'm calling it a fancy fold. It's like a super duper fan, simple fancy fold, but I'm calling it that. This next one is a little less simple fancy fold, but still a fancy fold nonetheless. All right, this time we're using cinnamon cider again. Remember last week with the, <laughs> you guys, thank you. Remember last week um, with the kangaroos, we used cinnamon cider. I thought it was a perfect kangaroo color. Well, I really think it's a good dachshund color too. I actually looked them up um, to see what colors they come in and most of them are this color. Or, or like black or a mixture, then there was also those that I think they call them brindle, you know, where it's like a weird mix. Do any of you have um, a dachshund? I think somebody a minute ago said they did. Um, okay, good. Jen, uh, Jen affirmed that this is definitely a fancy fold. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all of you, good. I think it's fancy too. Um, anyway, I looked them up to see what colors they came in. Um, and pretty much brown and black is pretty much it and then kind of a oh maybe like a grayish color too but mostly that brown and black but anyway look at this what do you guys call this kind of card a triangle fancy fold triangle flap I don't know I never know what the names are but that's what we're gonna do isn't that cool this is a half sheet of cardstock and when you do this you're actually you can actually get two out of a full sheet like you normally would I'm going to show you what I mean. You're going to need a full sheet of basic white. And you know what? I want to use my Simply Scored for part of this. Let me get it over here. I prefer to score on my Simply Scored. We're going to just score this in half both ways, okay? Um, <laughs> hey, Jen. You had a little chubby one as a kid. Oh, little chubby one. A chewini. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. My two girls were piebald. Is that, oh, red and white? Kathy, I didn't even see that. Hmm. That's cool. That's kind of like a corgi color, right? That like reddish color. Oh, wow. Lots of you had them. Oh, Carla, you have a basset hound. Yes. Oh, yes. Your basset hound puppy is so, so cute. Um, when I was real little, we had a neighbor that had a basset, basset hound and he was a mess. He was funny. Um, anyhow, full sheet of cardstock, basic white thick. I'm going to score the short side at four and a fourth and the long side at five and a half. Okay. So we've made a cross in the middle, basically. Now you're going to cut it diagonally. Okay. So on this I can, I can almost get the whole thing in. You know, if I take off my score, I think I might be able to do it if I can get it off. Mm. Right there, it's supposed to pop out. There we go. No, 
Let's just hope I don't lose it, right guys? Well, I don't really use the scoring part anyway very often. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take the cardstock and put one corner here up here in the gutter. You probably can't, yeah, you guys can see that. One part in the gutter and then the bottom in the gutter. Make sure they're lined up and then close it and cut it all the way down. Let's see, did I get all the way through? I did, almost. Well, yep, I got it. Okay, so you have these two triangle pieces and you can use both of them. Um, let's see, this one would be like this, okay? Or like that, depending on how you wanna do it. This one is gonna be the opposite, like that, right? That's how, that's how, let's see, how is this one? This one is like that, no, no, this one's this way. No, yes, no, that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you know cardstock has two sides? Yes, apparently it does. Anyhow, there we go, okay? So I'm gonna fold them in because I want it to be exactly like my original one. All right, so, and I see a little, a little hanging on dude right there. I'm gonna cut that off. So we're gonna put on the inside, we'll start from the inside out on this one. I've got cinnamon cider, four by five and a fourth, whoops. Um, does the flap on the paper trimmer lock? Heidi, you know, it doesn't lock like our other one did, but it snaps in place, if that makes sense. Would you guys call it a lock? Um, let me see, where did, where did I put it? Let's look at it. What it does, like there's no button here to lock it, but it kind of locks in place when it's down and sometimes it's hard to pull back up and that's by design, but there's no actual like lock it in place. Very good question. Okay, so now I've got this paper. Does anybody recognize this paper? It's from the ice cream paper, but you know, it's supposed to be a cone, but it's, Perfect for our little dachshund. So we're gonna cut it diagonally too, and you need to look at your um, at your card. You know, you saw how it could, you know, that those diagonals could go different ways. So you wanna look and see which way to cut it. Every time I cut paper diagonally like this, I do it wrong the first time, every time, because I don't look. And sometimes you can interchange them, and sometimes you cannot. Um, so this one I need to cut from this corner to that corner rather than that corner to that corner. It Maybe it works out right, but I don't think it does because you can't flip it over this paper because the back side is a different pattern, if that makes sense. All right. Sure, Heidi. Um, it's not really a magnet. It's like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a little, like it sits down in something and then it, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, um, sometimes I feel like, oh, I can't pull it up, but I just have to wiggle it. It kind of locks in place, but it's not locked. Um, yeah, okay, Cindy says a, a dimple and Denise says a divot. Yeah, so like a little, <laughs> you know, a little thing that it just kind of clicks into. A magnet would be a good idea though, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're gonna put these on here like this. All right, so we've got our card base ready. Now we're gonna stamp our little guy on another stitched rectangle. And I told you guys when we were looking through the catalog that I used a die from the Someone Special, is that what, they're, is that what it's called, Someone Special? No, Special Days dies, um, the little grass die. That's a great die. Um, and so I'm going to stamp him and I want him behind the grass. See, my first one I stamped after I put the grass down and I didn't like how his feet were on the grass. So then the second one that I made, I stamped him first and he's a little bit too low in the grass. So we gotta, we gotta just kind of play around with it. 
And you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a pencil. I'm going to make a little mark so I know where, where the grass is. All right. So I'm just going to do a little mark there, a little mark there, and a little mark there. It doesn't really matter, but it's going to help me know where to put him. Okay, so I can see those little marks. And I'm going to stamp him just right about there. Now we'll take this garden green. You know what? Did I put that on the supply list? No. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Garden green. I was making a birthday cake last night as I was typing this up. So who knows? There may be cake ingredients listed on your PDF. Okay. Now we're going to do cinnamon cider. I like cinnamon cider a lot. Oh, I just stuck my finger. Hey, Michelle, how are you? All right, let's color him in first with a full coat of cinnamon cider. You know, I'm really starting to worry about where the dogs. <laughs> They're being very quiet. Pepper, uh, my puppy, well, she's a, a year old now little over a year we've had her about a year she comes in wherever I'm at and does this to me tap 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 to my foot to my leg non-stop my mom said when she babysits her she does the same thing to her and it, it was cute for a while and now it's just annoying and I don't want to be like stop but then I'm also like stop <laughs> yesterday she hadn't taken her on a walk in the morning, so she was real, I don't know, she was real needy. So I put her in her bed and put her bed up on the, you know, like right here on the thing where I was working. And she lay down and she slept for three hours there. So I guess she just wants to be near me. I can't get mad at her for that. She, the kids are back, all my kids are back full time in school now. Every day, all day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, so I think, that, you know, we got her the first Sunday right before school shut down. So I think she's like, where are my people? Why is there nobody here to pay attention to me? All right, so a little bit of shadow down here like this. And then I'm just going to blend it. I know lots of you got quarantined puppies. It's a good time to get a puppy, I'll tell you that. Lots of help. All right, there we go with our cute little dog. Now let's stamp the get well, or well, what does it say? Get well soon. And I'm gonna do it right over here in Memento. Memento Black. And then the funniest part of this card is the Cone of Shame. The cone of shame that they have to wear whenever they've had some kind of procedure, surgery, whatever. And I don't need to color it. It can be white. And hi, Pam. Welcome. Yeah, Carla, she loves her mama. She does. She is a mama's girl. And I'm going to cut this out. Fussy cut right on the outside. She's real pushy. She's kind of a... Well, she is spoiled, but she's pushy, pushy puppy. And I only have myself to blame. All right, let's put a dimensional on the back of the cone of shame. And we'll put that right there on him. Look at him. Isn't he funny? Okay, so now we're going to put a scallop. This is a stitched rectangle. And I know somebody's going to ask, well, let's see what the size is. Um, You know, these aren't... Okay, so four by two and five eighths, four by two and five eighths. Now you would think, oh look, it's gonna match, it's gonna fit, but it doesn't, like it's just a sliver too um, big because I want it to fit in between those stitch lines. This is the stitched so sweetly, uh, scalloped, largest scalloped rectangle. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I cut out an extra one, and I'm just gonna cut off about 
I don't know, three or four rows worth of scallops. And you know what, before we do that, let's look and see. I'm gonna put him on the scallop and we're gonna extend this scallop. Oh, a separation anxiety. Oh, well, you know, I do worry about that. She, she's never here, so, or she's never alone. We have two other dogs, so when something happens to the older ones, I don't know how she's gonna handle that, like being alone at the house. So we'll just have to get another puppy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this here, centering it on the left side. And then you can see we need to add something here. So I'm gonna take my adhesive, come on, and glue it to the back, just one scallop over, that's it. It's just adding one extra little row of scallops. So there, now it's big enough and you really don't notice that seam, all right? Okay, so now I've got a little heart that I cut out using the wreath builder dies. There's a heart, there's a heart die in there that cuts two hearts out. And it was the perfect size, so I used that one. And we're gonna put this, we want it to just be connected to this top part. So we'll get about three dimensionals like that. And we'll put that centered right in the middle. Let's see how that opens up. Now, we are gonna use a bow this time. You guys, this stuff's carrying over. It's in the new catalog. I love it. There is twine, there's new twine in the new catalog. You guys know, you know, I need to make that bigger. You know, I love my twine. It comes in a pack of five colors. All the basics, white, black, I can't remember now, tan, gray, I can't remember. Was it only four? Maybe it was only four. Okay, glue dots, glue dots, glue dots. Where are the, oh, right here, the glue dots. Our neighbor just texted me earlier, our new neighbors, that they're putting in a pool. <laughs> and I wanted to cry, I'm so jealous. Um, I'm also, I also wanna cry because that means my dog's gonna bark nonstop for the next six months. <sighs> All right, look how I put that um, right there. See how I did that behind the corner? Oh, come on, stay. Stay facing the right way, you. Here we go. What do you guys think? So cute. So cute. A fancy fold for sure. Get well soon. And you can write your little message. You could also stamp him. You know, where's the case? The, the, uh, Stamp set has three different dachshunds, so you could put the little guy sitting there. I don't know. How are you? With a little speech bubble. Cute. I didn't even notice the how are you. Very cute. All right. What do you guys think? Cute. I think this one's pretty cute. All right. One more. One more. And then I got to show you. I do have a card for Monday that I'll post. I'll, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. All right. Let me get all the dimensional cleaned up. Nothing bugs me more when I am editing my videos and I can just see the dimensional papers all over the place. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Okay. Last but not least, we've got a box. Of course, we've got to make a box. And I was like, what could I, what kind of treat could I put in this? And then I thought, it doesn't have to be a human treat. It could be a dog treat. So I just put some dog treats in there. If I can get it to open, look. Dog treats. Hot dog, it's your birthday. I know you guys know somebody, if not yourself, who celebrates your dog's birthday. So wouldn't that be a cute little gift to give to them? Yeah, I think so. Now this box is one of our, oh, what's the official name? It has a weird name. Love you always, yeah, love you always treat boxes. And they come like this. I actually am packing these up right now in the well-suited class kit. They look like this, two pieces. And they're very easy to put together. But when you first see it, you might be like, what the heck, this is crazy. So I'm gonna show you. I have put <laughs> what I feel like hundreds of these together. Um, 
I sent them in a, a team training event one time. Ugh, it took, it took a long time to make a bunch of them. But when you're just putting a few of them together, it's easy. So take these guys right here and fold them in and then just fold down the sides. And there's a tab in there that folds backwards. Okay, so you do it again over here. There's no, you don't need any adhesive. Okay, fold that down. And then fold this one down. All right, that one kind of holds those in place. And then, so that your box has a smooth bottom, you fold this one down and it covers the bottom side of your box. It's a really nice box. Are these carried over? Are these in the annual catalog? Who knows? I don't know. Can't remember. Okay, now you might have been wondering, what's the paper I used? It isn't designer series paper, it's hand stamped paper. And I'm using this circle celebration. I've used this a couple times and I really, really like it. Um, I decided I wanted to, well, I will tell you, I wanted to just do polka dots, but then when I was done, I thought, well, you know, it kind of looks animal print almost. So I have a piece of white, basic white cardstock. I don't know, I've already got this out. And um, where did the gray stamp pad go? It's here somewhere. Um, oh, the ribbon fell off. And the ribbon fell off too, good grief. It's the third project, things get crazy. This is, we're gonna need three pieces. One for there, there, and there. So this is a quarter sheet of basic white. And I'm gonna just stamp the whole thing and then we're gonna cut it down. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start right in the middle. And this is one of those things that you're gonna worry that it's not straight, it's not perfect. Well, you don't need to worry about that because mine are not straight and perfect. And look, you can't tell, nobody, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just little polka dots. So I'm just gonna go across and I'm keeping them pretty close. I like them close together. And this is basic gray all the way across. And then come in and put them in between like that. And then the, the ones on the end will hang off like that, like that, like that. So my middle daughter's turning 14. Her birthday is actually Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. And she is all, every bit of 14. <laughs> She's in eighth grade. And she said, can I just have a sleepover? And I hate sleepovers. And I was like, mm, please, please, okay, fine. You can have a sleepover. So then she tells me the next day, I don't want to have a sleepover. I, I just want my friends to come over. And I'm like, okay. And why the change? Well, nobody wants to have a sleepover, so we're not having a sleep. Oh, God, I can't, I can't keep up. So we're going to go to the movies. Our movies are open. And we're going to go. Her favorite restaurant is Raising Cane's. Do you guys have Raising Cane's? I was thinking, like, she loves Japan. I was thinking, let's go to a Japanese, you know, where they cook on the thing. And she, was, she said Cane's. I was like, well, that is way cheaper. So, heck, yeah, we'll go to Raising Cane's. <laughs> Um, okay, now to cut this down, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Oh, and I get to take the little one who's, she, her obsession right now is her scooter. And the, they all want to go to a skateboard park with their scooter. And the other moms have taken them and now it's my turn. Yay. <laughs> okay, we're going to cut this down. The measurements are here, but I'll tell you, I think I cut it wrong in the clean recording because it was wrong. Because when I went back and measured, it was right. So let's see. We need it to be, see I have it four and, no that's the gray. Okay, so three and seven eighths, right? I think it's, you know, my eyes run, to, I can't see those lines. They run together. Glasses, someday, someday. Even my husband now is saying he needs to go get glasses. So we need to go together. All right, so three and seven eighths and then two and three eighths. You know what, let's look at, let's see, what size did I cut this one? This one is, this one is 
two and five eighths. So we're gonna let's cut it two and a half, and we'll see. I think maybe that'll be right. And then I'll I'll update the I'll update the PDF if I need to. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And then we need two same three three and seven eighths, but we need them one and a fourth. Okay, so one and a fourth. So you can get all three pieces out of a quarter sheet of cardstock of basic white. All right, I've put my PDF in front of my iPad. I can't see you guys, it feels weird. My oldest daughter had her golden birthday in eighth grade and everyone said they were coming and then, no, Carla. And they all started canceling and no one showed up. It was horrible. Oh, I can't even imagine. At 14, how that went down. <sighs> yeah, and you know, right now, things are weird because of the pandemic. And she said that's why nobody, all the parents said, well, just three girls, said they couldn't spend the night, which I was like, what? And then I realized, oh, well, hello. Maybe that's why, pandemic. But then they could come over and hang out. So I guess COVID only happens at night. I'm not sure. <laughs> But I was happy and I'd rather not have a sleepover. The noise. Oh my gosh, the noise. All right, so I am um, adhering these to just some basic gray mats. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Why am I going so late today? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize what time it was. Let's see, is that going to fit? Yep, yep, it, those numbers are, no, one of them is wrong. I need to fix the, the, the white. It's the wrong number. All right, we'll glue this down. We'll glue this down. And then we're almost done. We really are almost done. And I was thinking, gosh, you know, I don't really have much to tell them today. It's not going to take very long. I just, I just get to talking to you guys. I get carried away. This is the Double Stitch Satin Real Red Ribbon. One of my favorites, and it is in the new catalog. Yay! It's great for Christmas and Valentine's Day. It's really good. It's a nice ribbon. Real soft. Come on. The spool is on the floor. <laughs> oh no, it's right here, but it's unraveled. It fell on the floor a minute ago. I can't let Pepper get to it. I've told you guys, she is obsessed with twine and ribbon. Mostly twine, but she does like to unravel ribbon too. Okay, there we go. Now let's make the tag. This time we are stamping our little dog on smoky slate so you don't want to color you're like erica i'm tired of coloring okay stamp them on colored cardstock and i didn't do a very good job so let's flip it over and do it again there's not something on there is there no that was weird there we go okay and then we're going to stamp the party hat on basic white we're going to stamp the balloon and really we just need the top of the balloon we're going to stamp let me clean that we're gonna stamp the string of the balloon, just the string over here, like that. And we're gonna stamp the hot dog, it's your birthday. <laughs> Denise, you're right. Isn't that how it is though? A bunch of women get together and I know. Lots of words, as my husband would say. Lots of words. All right, so now I do like to add a little bit of shading to him, even though he's already on colored cardstock. Um, so I'm gonna just take my light smoky slate and just add those little shadow lines to him. It's gonna dry a lot lighter than it looks right now. I know some of you are probably like, ooh, that's way too much, but it's gonna, it's going to, um, dry and it'll be much lighter all right then I've got seaside spray you guys is leaving this color is leaving and I love this color I'm also going to color the party hat seaside spray then let's color our balloon real red oh look I'm getting out of lines because now I'm like oh I gotta hurry and I'm going to go glow needs mm. parental consent to work. What? Use the Alexa app Alexa, to stop. Setup. What? 
did she think I said? She will not answer me every time I try to use her. But then I'm not talking to her and she starts talking. God, so rude. <laughs> well, hi, Pepper. There you are. Okay, fussy cut. Just the balloon part. Yes, Mac, I see you too. Yes. Okay, no, get down. Don't jump on me. We had these shades installed. We have um, a wall of windows in our living room. And the light, they're real high up. And uh, no, Pepper, I'm not talking to you, honey. Um, <laughs> I'm talking to the people in the computer. She's like, what? Um, anyway, we had these shades put in. And because they're way up high, they're motorized. And so while she was here, I was like, hey, let's do my office too. Because my shades are hard to get to. And so they're Alexa, right? They, oh, now she's going to hear me. They, um, you're supposed to be able to say her name and say, put them up, put the, put them down, whatever. She cannot do it. She's very confused by that skill. Very confused. We use our Alexa mostly as an intercom. Do you guys remember intercoms? Do you have an intercom in your house one, at one time? When I was a kid, we had an intercom. We thought it was the coolest thing until our mom would wake us up in the mornings via the intercom for school. And then we didn't like it so much. But, you know, I don't, they don't put intercoms in houses anymore. So you can get these, these Echo Dots from Amazon and install them in the rooms that you want. And then you just say her name. And then you say drop in on whoever. And then it's like an intercom. It's really cool. Yes, I know. And they're, whoever is over at Amazon's listening to everything. I know. It's creepy, but whatever. <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. They would be bored to death. Uh, your Yorkie hates Alexa and see just that. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Is she scared of it? Is your dog scared of it? That's hilarious. Okay, we're going to put that so that the little string is behind him, you know, kind of like it's in his mouth. And then I think I used a mini glue dot earlier, but I didn't like the way it looks. So I think I'm just going to glue that on with, yeah, I like that better. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Okay, now we're going to put that balloon on, but we've got to put... We've got to put it on here first, okay? So put some dimensionals. We're going to sandwich that ribbon in like that. And then get your balloon. Oh, yours does that too, Michelle. Ugh. It's annoying and creepy. But then when you need them, they're like, sorry, I don't know that. Ugh. Okay, last but not least, let's add these little um, resin hearts. You guys, these are so popular. They are unorderable right now, and this is all I have. So those of you who are going to get your Facebook Friday projects from me, I can't find my Take Your Pick tool. They will not be in your kits, because if, if you want me to wait on these for your kit, you won't get your kit for a very long time. I think it's later in April. So... Hopefully you have some. If not, you could always stamp the heart. Oh, come on. I don't know where my take your pick tool is. Don't make me look stupid, you silly little hearts. Do what I say. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's it, you guys. So cute, right? And now I've got three doggy birthday gifts ready to go. I know... My friend Anne Marie celebrates her dog's birthdays, I bet. So I will save one for her, one for Millie. And I don't know, I have one more left. All right, you guys. So we made the little box and then we made two fancy fold cards. I hope you like them. Remember the PDF is over there on my blog. It's free. Um, on Monday, I've got a fourth project for you right here. See, I colored him gray that time. Um, look what I did with the bow ties in the back. I put the bow tie on him. That's one of the stamps in there. And I made a bow tie background from the well-dressed dies. So I'll have the details on that on Monday for you. If you want these three make and takes um, for free, just put in your order. 
by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. I recommend taking advantage of those things that are on sale. Um, use your host code so I know that you want the make and takes. Um, next week, you guys, I was having a really hard time deciding what to do next week. I have three cards that I made a while ago that use that Love You Always stamps, two stamp sets in the front. They're kind of like wedding cards. But I don't know. I don't feel like doing those. So I pulled out the Snailed It stamp set, started working on that. So I think we're going to do Snailed It next week, maybe. If I can, I've got one done. I've got to see what else I can come up with. Okay? Is that all right, you guys? I know lots of you have the snails, and you probably want some ideas. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for joining me and for staying with me for so long today. I appreciate it. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye. <music>